Let's look at how to create a simple design by rotating a shape in code blocks using a loop and variables. Suggestions for related tutorials will be at the end and in the description. I'll start by making a background shape, which in this case will be a rectangle that's 120 millimeters by 80 by 4 high. Because it's 4 high, which is the Z axis, I'll need to move it up the blue Z axis by half that height to get it to sit on the work plane. Moving up Z by half the height will apply to any shape I want to get onto the work plane. The first thing is to decide what basic shape you want to rotate in your design. You can drag shapes out and adjust their attributes and also play with scale and rotate blocks to get different effects. If the shape will be a hole, make sure its height value is higher than your background and there's no need to lift it onto the work plane if it's a hole. If it's a solid, it needs to be on the work plane to be even with the background. Now I have chosen my shape. Next I want to move my shape up the green Y axis. I can always play with changing this number later for different effects. Now I know I want to rotate copies of this shape around 360 degrees so I'll put a rotation block in. But I need to be sure to specify that I want to rotate it around the blue Z axis. We can think of this axis as like a tetherball pole. Copies of the shape will be like the ball rotating around the central pole. I also need to specify where the pole is planted. And here I need it to be in the center at 0, 0, 0, X, Y, Z. We want this shape to repeatedly appear so let's grab a repeat loop and place the shape in it with the background above. We'll also use the create variable block a couple of times. Drag out one and name it something like spokes, arms, pedals, or some description for the shapes that will radiate out. Then drag out a second create variable block and name it rotation degrees or something similar. Let's put an initial value in the spokes create variable block. The beauty is that we can easily change this later to experiment. Ovals with the variable's names are automatically created at the bottom. So let's grab the spokes variable and put it in the repeat loop value. We want to add our shape the specified number of times and we want the copies to rotate evenly around the tetherball pole Z axis. The rotation amount will change each time. It will vary. So let's use a variable. Take the rotation degrees variable and place it in the rotate around block. Next, take a change item by block and put it at the end of the loop. We're going to change the rotation degree each repetition of the loop. We want to change it by the 360 degrees of a full circle divided by however many shapes we're adding. So grab a math oval and change it to division. In this case, we are trying eight shapes, so 360 divided by eight will be 45 degree rotations. The beautiful part of using variables is that now to change the design, all I need to do is change the spokes variable. And this change by block will do all the math to distribute them evenly. The other value to experiment with is how far up that green Y axis line the shapes go. Remember to use a create group block after the loop if you're using holes so you can see how things will look. And there's a quick look at one way to create rotating designs in Tinkercad's code blocks.